Argentina used to be one of the most prosperous countries in Latin America, but not anymore. Today, more than one third of the population lives below the poverty line. Las caras tristes, los ojos vacíos, eso es desnutrición. Here, hundreds of families rely on this landfill to feed their children. Todos los días yo sé que voy ahí, traigo todos los días para comer. Some even eat from it. Sí, el alimento si está buena condición, nosotros lo cocinamos. It can be dangerous. Es más allá de que corres peligro de cortarte, hay muchas bacterias, tuvimos el cólera. The global crisis had a detrimental effect in Argentina. The pandemic crushed the country's already fragile economy. And the war in Ukraine made things even worse. All over Latin America, the number of people who are hungry keeps going up. This is Concordia, one of the poorest cities in Argentina. More than half of the people here live under the poverty line. We're entering the slum El Silencio. It's called like this because during the day, all you can hear is the sound of flies. Cada vez hay más barrios, más asentamientos, y, y lo que llama la atención es de que son de gente joven. Most houses are made out of wood. They look precarious. Entire families of six or seven live and sleep in the same room. It's mainly children here, left alone all day long to fend for themselves. Monica tries to help them as best she can. Aquí las infancias son muy tristes porque los chicos no tienen un momento de juego. Ellos actúan siempre como adultos. Son niños desde, desde el momento que están en la panza hasta que nacen, hasta el año, año y medio. Y después ya son responsables porque viene otro hermanito. And that's because some parents, most of whom are teenagers, spend all day long working here. This is the biggest landfill in the city. More than 100 tons of rubbish gets dumped here every day. It's an ocean of garbage, glass, plastic, food waste. But this is not how the people here see it. They see an opportunity, like Julio. Todos los días yo sé que voy ahí, traigo todos los días para comer, para tener las cosas. Julio wakes up at dawn. He walks to the landfill, which is right next to his home. Here, he looks for materials that he can resell to a recycling center. Everyone here is doing the same. It's a real business for them. It's only nine in the morning and the sun is scorching hot, but there's so many people here because this landfill is their only means of survival. They wait for garbage trucks to get here. They call them cucas, short for cucarachas, cockroaches. As soon as they unload, they all latch onto the rubbish to try to get hold of the most valuable materials. Then they separate the materials into different bags. And when they fill them up, they sell them to a place like this, a recycling center. Imagine working in these conditions only to make a few pesos per week. Mi trabajo cuando por ahí es duro, por ahí cuando está fuerte el sol, eso, te ve la cabeza. Eso. En el abasto es complicado por el tema del vidrio, eso. si te puede cortar algo. En los basurales, más allá de que corres peligro de cortarte, de, de ingerir comida en mal estado, hay muchas bacterias, tuvimos eh, el cólera, montones de, de enfermedades y más allá de la necesidad económica, no conocen otra cosa, no conocen otra realidad.
but for Julio, it's all worth the risk. He's managed to build his home with things that he's picked up from the landfill. When we came here, there was nothing. I was able to get materials for my house, I was able to get some wood, some nylon that was broken, some wood that was broken, and I put it on the floor while I was He's going through all this effort for his daughter. My dream is that my daughter has a house of material, that she has her house, that she has her pieces, her bed, that she has all her things, that she doesn't have anything left. Julio's struggle is the story of many people here. Argentina had one of the longest lockdowns in the world. Prices went up, people lost their jobs. And in here, many kids were left behind when schools closed. Rocío is one of them. She lives in a slum near Julio. Donde nosotros vivimos no no hay mucha señal, digamos. Por más que el, le pida un celular a un compañero o algo, no puedo estudiar porque no hay señal, no hay internet nada acá abajo. Y bueno, decidí abandonar porque no tenía nadie que me explique. Yo siento que sí, que me da la espalda el gobierno. La mitad de los chicos y chicas en Argentina desde el 2020 no tuvieron acceso a la educación de manera remota porque no tenían los dispositivos o porque no tenían la conexión. La mitad, ¿no? Es un montón. No podía ir a la escuela y me hizo sentir mal porque mi sueño era llegar a ser alguien en la vida como siempre lo prometí a mi mamá y a mi papá y no, no pude. Rocío started working at the landfill when she was just eight years old. She would go in the afternoon after school. But now that she can't access any education, this has become her whole life. Sometimes Rocío has no option but to eat what she finds. Sí, el alimento si está buena condición y estar para comer, sí. Y a veces se suele encontrar um, bastante carne. Nosotros lo cocinamos, hacemos juego y lo cocinamos. She's not the only one. Many people feed of the rubbish. Vemos a la a la gente que está trabajando ahí, papá, mamá, niños, niños pequeños que van ahí, no tanto a reciclar a veces con sus padres, sino a ver qué juntan para comer. Y se consigue cosas, eso trae cosas para cocinar, eso ahí. Se trae cosas congeladas, eso, fideos lindos, leche cerrada, galletitas, budines, eso lo que se encuentra se suele traer para comer acá. But what Julio and Rocío are going through doesn't just happen in slums. Argentina experienced the highest growth in food insecurity between 2014 and 2020 in all of Latin America. Las caras tristes, los ojos vacíos, eso es desnutrición. Now, more than one third of the population doesn't have access to enough nutritious food. The war in Ukraine has made things even worse. Inflation is at more than 60% in Argentina, only second to Venezuela in the region. Food is ever more expensive. La pandemia en Argentina profundizó una crisis preexistente y esa crisis ya golpeaba mayoritariamente a los hogares con niños. Eso generaba, por ejemplo, que haya niños que tuvieran que salir a trabajar. This means that for many teenagers Surviving of this landfill and building their whole lives around it is their only option. The future looks uncertain, but Julio and Rocío remain hopeful. My dream is to have my house, to have my laburo, everything. Realmente quiero volver a, a participar de vuelta de la escuela para poder a ver si puedo cumplir mi sueño. Lo veo un poco lejano, pero la esperanza nunca se pierde.